hi guys welcome to my channel and today i'm going to be teaching you guys how to download g shade but before we get into that welcome back if you're not new and welcome if you are new i hope you do enjoy this video um yeah and just just go into the tutorial so you want to open a browser the browser that i'm that i'm going to be using today is um microsoft edge right so in microsoft edge you want to type in g shade g shade g shade so after you type in g shade you want to you're going to see these two links here okay you could click this link it's going to bring you to this link or you could just click this link and directly go to it but in this link you're going to have to go through a path but i'm going to go to this one okay i'm going to go through this one right here so you're going to click the link and you're going to come to a page just like this you're going to see up here, you're going to see home, download, quick reference, patch notes, and licensing. You are going to click the download part, and you're going to see download and select your platforms. So for me, I'm using a Windows installer. You could be using a Linux shell script or a Mac. These are the platforms that GShade um, cooperates with, that it works well with. So... Pick your device and I'm using a Windows installer so I'm gonna go ahead and click right here and it will be downloading up here depends on what browser you're using or down here it depends again on what browser you're using so um, I'm gonna read this while that downloads um, for Windows an easy to use Windows installer with all of the trimmings installation is guided and included and includes sorry the G Shade control panel for managing G Shade installation in specific game. An optional desktop update reminder and an optional update helper for updates check before launching game via batch or PowerShell scripting. So basically basically just read the um description before you download them. Go ahead and read the Linux shell script description if you have this device or read the mac description if you have a mac device alrighty so now you could go ahead and close you could go ahead and close your browser so after you close your browser you are going to go and open file explorer which you would be go which you would be at this home part so at this home part or the home section you want to go ahead and click downloads and you are going to see your G shade latest installer which you're gonna double click it I'm not sure if I open it you're gonna see this part of my screen maybe not but the screen says do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device G shade dot latest installer dot exe click yes nothing's gonna harm your device nothing's gonna happen to your computer whatever you're using nada right so you want to click yes all right and then it's gonna tell you to please select your language and select your home language that you are good with i think it only has english chinese korean dutch france and italy i'm not i'm not sure i'm not sure I don't, oh, I think it has English, Japanese, Korean, Dutch, Fran, French, I don't, Italiano, and Chinese, I'm not sure. But yeah, pick your language that you speak, and then the license agreement, you guys could go ahead and um, read this if you want, but nothing's gonna happen, nothing at all. So you're gonna click I agree. Alright, now it says choose target executable location. So for the automatic path detection, optional, most people don't pick it because it's optional. You don't need to, but you can. But for me, I really would like to, I, did, I do it because I don't want to not do it. You know, I do it. So the Sims 4, go ahead and click it. There's another one, the Sims 4 Steam. That's if you play the Sims 4 on the app Steam, you're going to click that one. But I think everybody else, if you're using Origin, EA, or whatever other app, that there is that you could play the sims for on pick this one because the only other one is steam and you're not playing it on steam if you're not that's if you're not okay so then the target game or program exe exe file it will give you a generated file like a generate not a generated file like a generated like it where it 
detects that your game is right so you do not want to go and tamper with this because they already generate or they detect where your game is your game file is in your computer so you could go ahead and leave that and you're gonna play press next all right so the choose G shade settings and presets so required settings select one the 32 bit or the 64 bit my all right so my own is a 64 you should go into your computer um data and check if you have a 32 bit or a 64 bit okay the graphics AIP, I mean API, sorry, I got confused right there. So my own is a DXVK Experimental 4 DirectX 9, but the Sims 4, it only uses DirectX 9, right? So you could go ahead and leave that. You could put DirectX 9 or you could put this one. It doesn't really matter. This is either this one or this one. Because for Direct 9, 10, and 11, it is if your device is a 10 or is a Windows 11, 10, or 9. You get it? So I'm gonna pick this one because my my um computer is in those limits. It's my computer is 11, Windows 11. So everything else, I just leave it normal because I don't want to really tamper with anything. So then I'm gonna press install. All right, so why, why, oh, while this is installing, you want to actually go to your documents folder, and then you're going to see your electronic arts folder up here, and then you want to make a new folder underneath it. This is where you will be putting your reshades to be able to convert them to a G shade. So I'm going to actually be putting it, I'm going to be putting it as preset. Make sure you have it as something that you remember. I don't even know if I'm spelling it right, but besides the point right besides the point so yeah so after that you could just go ahead and x out of this for a while and then it's gonna stay installation complete setup was completed successfully thanks for installing gz please specify a folder where you would like your screenshots to be saved you can leave it as in your c drive or whatever you can leave it in your public pictures in your regular picture folder that your computer does come with if you want to or you can make a new folder it ups, it's up to you, honestly. You could go ahead and leave it. I'm going to leave it. You could change it. It's up to you. And then it's going to say, the folder for your screenshots was successfully set. Would you like to open the GJ Quick Reference? So I'm going to click yes because I do want to show you guys something. So the quick reference is like a manual that you could read about the G Shade. It has the what is the what is G Shade. Can I get help? provided settings for a game that's not automatically recognized this is something that you could go and um read if you do want to but i'm not gonna read it i'm not gonna read it I, i'm not gonna read it i don't uh -uh. so yeah but you see this one's for here anyway all right so that's if you want to go and actually read it right so you could go ahead and do that and then after you read it if you want to read it you could x out of that and then you could go to well you have to go to the app right here it's going to leave this app on your screen that's going to name g shade control panel and then when you open it you're going to get a screen i don't think it's going to come up on my screen to show you guys but it's going to say do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device yes same thing as before nothing too hard to it nothing major just press yes all right, and then it's going to open the app, and you're going to see the app right here, right? So you want to, you're going to see home installation tools, support, and about, right? You get me? I mean, you're getting me? So you want to op you want to launch the converter to go to the folder that you made in your documents folder, which is under your electronic arts folder. So you would go to your documents folder, you're going to see your electronic arts folder, and you're going to see your folder that you made it to put your reshades to convert them to a g-shade so i'm gonna press ok right and then i don't have any g-shades in there i'm in, ah sorry i don't have any reshade in there as yet so it's gonna basically just be an empty preset backup folder but that's what i want to get with you so i'm gonna get a reshade and i'm gonna be, and i'll be right back with you guys to finish the process 
all right guys so i got a reshade to do this tutorial the reshade is bloom by elkrez um i think this is a g shade but it's fine i'm gonna still um convert it for you guys to just make this simple right so you have the reshade pretend like this is a reshade because i literally just found it pretend like this is a reshade you're going to download it and then it might say um the reshade's name by whatever by who am whomever dot i or not and it might say was blocked because it can harm this type of file can harm your device you're just gonna press the three little dots and you're gonna press keep because it's not gonna do any harm to your device okay then you could actually go and x out of that and then you could go and open two file explorers you want to make this easy as possible for yourself so one is going to be with your downloads one is actually going to be um, in your documents in the full under electronic arts under the folder in the folder that you made so you're gonna go ahead and click that um do not pay this any mind this was a, tr a test run for you to make sure that it works properly so if it doesn't have preset backup in there you know that's not working right so you're gonna delete that if you want i'm just delete it make life easy for us all right so here we go you're gonna drag the reshade and bring it in to the folder you made right the folder you made you're gonna put it in all right and then you could x out of everything and then after that you want to go and open the g shade um app the g shade control panel app you're gonna double click it it's gonna say do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher you're gonna click yes it's gonna that notification is gonna pop up every single time you open the app because um it's better like the the file when you download the app it automatically comes as an administrator for your computer if you basically got i'm saying so you're gonna get that notification every single time so you're gonna go ahead to tools and you're gonna press launch converter remember go into your documents folder under your electronic arts folder you're gonna see the folder that you made you're gonna click it and the folder is supposed to have in your reshade right and then you're gonna click ok um preset conversion completed press ok x out of the app then you're gonna open one file explorer and then you are going to go you're supposed to have a sims 4 um shortcut app on your desktop you want to go ahead and right click it and you're gonna open file location and it's supposed to be as a screen like this i'm gonna put them side by side to make it easier for me um you should do it too highly recommend so you're gonna have your sims 4 um bin file at one side your home um but space screen home right i'm not even sure what they call it is it a home run or something i don't even know but yeah you want to go to your downloads folder where you, in the one that is blank um and remember i'm gonna do this really quick the one in the download folder is not is the one that you are not gonna use this one is to be deleted right you're going to go in your documents folder under your electronic arts folder you're supposed to see the folder that you made and you're supposed to click it and then you're going to see the reshade outside of the other folder that is inside the folder that you made and it's supposed to say preset backup you're going to double click in that folder and here is when you're going to actually get what is inside of that preset backup folder and you're gonna go in to your bin file to G Shade preset custom. And you're gonna drag what you had in the preset backup folder into your G Shade preset custom folder. So you're gonna drag it. And then you press go back, go back in your preset folder that you made. And then you could just go ahead and delete all of this. You could delete the one that was not converted and the one that was converted because it's already in your game, right? So you could go ahead and do that. And pretty much that is it for not in the game. So now I am about to hop in the game with you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and go on the EA app. Going to click play. 
And yeah, so while it's doing what, I, what it's doing, loading and everything, you're supposed to get um, something on your screen that says press a few five, press this and this, this and this key to open it. So for me, it says to press a backspace and shift. So yeah, this is what you're going to do. Press backspace and shift because that's what it said for me. But click whatever um, keys it tells you to click. So here we go. We have, it just comes up, welcome. Since this is your first time you started G-Shade, this is not my first time, excuse me, being very rude. We'll go through a quick tutorial covering the most important features. Before you do anything else, it is incredibly important to ensure that G-Shade and the game you are using it with do not share a screenshot hockey. No, 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 no. Right? So, after that, I'm going to help you guys. You guys could skip the tutorial. And then you're just going to get this space right here. You're going to see off resh reshade, which was converted to a G-shade. Basically, is now a G-shade. It, it, it ain't on. It ain't on. It says off. So now you're going to go into your customs folder and click bloom. And then here you have it. So then you're going to actually go and press the two keys that it said to press again. That it said to press in the beginning. And click it. And that's it. So, this is how you uh, download G-Shade. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped. I know I'm not the best at tutorials, but I really hope this helped you guys. It, it, I really tried my best, so I hope this did help you. Um, have a good rest of your day. Have a good rest of your night. Make sure that your heart is always hearting, and I'll see you guys in a, another video, okay? Bye! I ain't gonna tell him, babe, I get it, darling yeah. You got a situation, stop sweating, darling yeah. Just cool, don't panic, darling yeah.